What's happening everyone? Welcome back to a brand new episode from Hoi An Vietnam. And Today, just gonna do a little uh, walking tour of the city. It's a beautiful, beautiful, sunshiny day, 23 Celsius, just perfect enough for a tank top. And what better way to start the day than by the riverside, guys? Check out the beautiful medieval city of uh, Hoi An, guys. This is one of the cities that uh, remained largely intact after the Vietnam War, and uh, you can tell by the beautiful, beautiful architecture. You know, there's quite a few boats throughout the city, and this city is known as the city of lanterns. And uh, I'm gonna do the vlog all the way until the night because uh, the city takes a completely different look at night you're gonna see everything lit up all the lanterns all the colors even though it's very colorful right now no doubt but the architecture combines uh, so so well the streets are packed though i mean i came last night did a little walking uh, just to get my exercise in and grab some food and this place was packed right now it's the morning you know people still sleep in or uh, whatever they uh, may be doing but uh, yeah it's way way more calm now there still seem to be some houses that have not been completely renovated but that's uh, changing at a very very fast pace there's construction uh, quite a bit uh, all throughout the cities I mean just look at it UNESCO World Heritage Site that's well well deserved guys I mean there's photo spots especially if you're uh, into portrait photography or if you do fashion and stuff like that there's stuff to photograph pretty much at the every pace you know you got palm trees right you got these nice lanterns which you know at night they look completely different I'm gonna move a little bit this side just because there's quite a bit of music there's you know these type of lamps uh, boats you know beautiful beautiful vivid colors you know the yellow seems to be predominant here in the city but you know it's a rainbow guys i mean you can see blue green yellow red you know you name it it's uh, it's here you just gotta look for it and you know uh, the shutters you know i've seen a lot of people in the city taking a lot of uh, photos uh, by the shutters and everyone loves the uh, shutters uh, but yeah check it out i mean beautiful 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 a great spot to come and relax right now it's actually quite quite quiet besides the music playing in the background in the restaurants and so on but overall it's just outstanding one place that i uh, came by last night although i didn't have my camera is the temple gate and it has this really really nice pond and everything is lit up at night and you get a really 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 cool reflection maybe if i come back again tonight by this place i'll show you guys i'll peek in and uh, see exactly you know uh, show you guys how it looks like there are quite a few people here but mostly on this side and like one by one they kind of go there in the middle and take a nice uh, reflection photo but it looks like uh, people they're having a wedding or a photo shoot engagement whatever here yeah it's quite quite nice uh, very interesting architecture no doubt and the pond makes it uh, you know uh, 10 times better 
And here we have another temple, the sacred temple, okay. Pretty much a lot of the temples are sacred, but it looks quite, quite nice. A very popular photo spot here in Hoi An is the Japanese uh, bridge, a small, small little bridge, probably, you know, uh, 20, uh, not even 20, it's probably like, you know, 15 max meters, but yeah, a lot of people come by here, take photos outside, inside, but again, you know, the architecture is so splendid overall, you can find uh, photo spots all throughout uh, the city. Quite a few people seem to uh, be liking this temple here. So well, let's go and check it out. So what's uh, one too many temples? I think I've seen uh, in the last month so many Buddhist temples that uh, you know you can pretty much cover the rest of the year. But uh, yeah, what do you guys do when you go uh, certain places? How many churches, temples, religious monuments do you visit? Uh, are they worth? sacrificing your time to seeing you know quite a few of them or you just uh, pick the top one two three whatever you may uh, consider within the city itself not by the river again you get the same type of uh, lanterns pretty much everywhere there is no uh, spot that you pass by and you'll not find quite a few uh, lanterns you know it's uh, a city of uh, artists you'll find a lot of uh, leather shops you will find a lot of uh, tailor shops. Uh, most likely, I have not seen this many uh, tailor shops one year or another than in the city of uh, Hoi An. I'll show you guys just outside the city. Uh, you'll find quite a few, uh, quite a few tailor shops. Another popular attraction here. Uh, it's the Japanese Assembly Hall. I believe it's called. I'm not sure exactly what its purpose is but uh, you know definitely has some uh, interesting architecture so compared to the downtown i guess you can call it streets the marketplace right now in the morning is packed it's uh, quite a few people and they're letting motorbikes uh, go through here so it makes it even more noisy and again there are no lanes you know you pretty much everywhere you just go wherever you can. Although the Japanese uh, bridge is very popular for photos, the most popular bridge in town without a doubt, uh, especially in the evening, is this bridge that has a whole bunch of red lanterns on the side and it has a sign of uh, welcome to Hoi An and uh, so on. But yeah, this is extremely, extremely packed at night. I mean, it will take you a little bit to cross because you're gonna be shoulder to shoulder, hip to hip. Stopping for a little uh, bite to eat and what's more Vietnamese than uh, pho and for those that uh, don't know what pho is let me break it down really really fast to you beef broth with beef noodles and a lot of times it does come with some uh, veggies in this case it looks like uh, I don't know just some uh, green onion or something like that but a lot of times they do give you on the side some basil some mint uh, lime and so on but yeah this is probably uh, the most popular Vietnamese uh, dish that you will find anywhere in Vietnam or anywhere else at any Vietnamese restaurant it's delicious a lot of times I do add a little bit of spice to it uh, because it needs a little kick but I do enjoy the warmth of the broth it's just phenomenal overall hopefully this one goes uh, you know along uh, the same lines uh, also it's important to mention that you can substitute with uh, chicken that way you can make it like a chicken noodle soup you know uh, but uh, a lot of times uh, the basic basic for is beef uh, anyway. 
年，然后了。So one of the cheapest way to get around uh, in Vietnam is definitely the Grab bikes. Uh, just an app like Uber, but you get a bike, you know, and uh, probably for around a dollar you can go from the city, city center of uh, Hoi An all the way to the beach. Yeah, guys, uh, just four kilometers away they do have a beach here as well, and uh, you know people said that uh, it has quite the gold sand. So uh, let's go and uh, check it out. <laughs> not bad at all it's not a huge huge beach or anything like that but uh, definitely you know you get the nice uh, medieval uh, vietnamese town but also you get uh, just close by you get a beach and uh, no it looks like it's quite quite popular right now it is uh, 25 26 celsius or so so yeah it's quite quite extensive no doubt a lot of the times it's useless to have sidewalks here in Vietnam because they're just taken by uh, you know billboards and bicycles and scooters and so on so you pretty much have to walk on the road again and uh, yeah it's quite quite frustrating at times because some of these uh, bicycle people they go quite fast check it out so you just walk you walk and you uh, you know kind of do the best you can in order to not get hit Okay, going back to the subject of uh, tailors. Guys, check it out. Every other store is pretty much uh, dedicated to uh, tailoring suits and not just for men, for women as well. It's packed all throughout uh, the city. I think it's considered a capital of suits of the world. No idea how much it costs. Some people said it costs less than 100, depending on your negotiating skills. But, you know, they're everywhere everywhere you look there are people on bicycles just stopping you and asking you hey do you want a suit do you want to go shopping for a suit and trying to uh, go by really fast but no there's uh, plenty of them no doubt so if you do get a suit or something here negotiate to the bone because there's a lot of supply and guys as i was saying earlier you know the city is completely different at night Right now it's twilight, taking some shots, but uh, you can see it's a different face, you know, of the city. Everything's lit up, you know, boats pretty much everywhere. They have the lanterns on the boats as well. People putting uh, the little candles on the, you know, on the, on the river, you know, for good luck or for whatever uh, mythical uh, reason. But uh, either way, I'm going to probably end the vlog right here show you guys a few more footages uh, throughout the city at night and uh, call it a night again if you made it all the way here in the video you know definitely subscribe give it a share give it a comment give it a like whatever you feel it deserves gratitude should be the only attitude guys and i'll see you next time